Jesus, Lord. I want to follow you. I want to serve you, Jesus, Lord. I want to be your favorite child. Please you, Lord. This world is so very dark. Everything is not what it seems to be. But I want to be your favorite child. Hi, welcome to today's broadcast of the Word and Counsel Service. It's so good to be here again. Bible says in Psalm 133 verse 1, that behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together 
in unity. I am so happy to be with you once again, and I believe that we will be blessed. Bible also says that enter his gates with thanksgiving. And this morning, with, with a grateful heart, you want to enter into a time of worship. And to lead us, let's welcome our sister Priscilla.
I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in the midst. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Hey, we make a miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey, we make a miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is Touching every heart, I worship you. I worship you. You are He, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You. I worship you. You are He, mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. Hey, we make miracle and promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is. We make a miracle work. Promise keep a light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Wipe the way all seeks. Mend the broken heart. You're the answer to it all. Jesus, you wipe the way all seeks. Mend the broken heart. You're the answer to it all, to it all, Jesus. We make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey, we make a miracle. Only one name with 
power to say with power to say our God he's champion he reigns forevermore
a powerful time of worship well are you ready for another ministration guess who we have the dancing stars I have really missed them I'm sure you've missed them at home too and so as you welcome them put on your dancing shoes put on a happy heart and let's welcome the dancing stars it's my place. Jesus, Lord, and chief and help you know. I want to follow you. I want to save you, Jesus, Lord. And I want to be your favorite child. I want to please you, Lord. This world is so very dark. Very, very. Everything is not what it seems to be. But I want to be your favorite child. I want to be, I, I want to be. Oh Lord, I feel drawn to you. Lord, I wanna seek you. I wanna seek you. I want to be me and you forever. Oh Lord, I am coming close to you. Lord, I'm coming closer and closer to you. I'm trying to feel your presence now. Lord, I want to be your favorite child. So I'm coming closer and closer to you. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Hey, 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 I want to be your favorite child. I want to be, I, I want to be. Hey, when you me for me, say yeah, it's a wupa mapa. When you me for me, say yeah, it's a wupa mapa. Papa mapa, it's a wupa mapa. Papa mapa, I'm so happy I'm coming closer and closer to you. Chuchu, I'm trying to feel your presence now. Chuchu, Lord, I want to be your favorite child. Chuchu, so I'm coming closer. Hey Oh, Lord, I 
girl, I feel drawn to you. I want to sit quietly by your side. Can I kneel down in your presence? Oh Lord, I am coming close to you. Lord, I'm coming closer and closer to you. Jojo, I'm trying to feel your presence now. Jojo, Lord, I want to be your favorite child. Jojo, so I'm coming closer and closer to you. Hey ya, 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 hey ya. Hey yeah, hey yeah. Hallelujah. Welcome to our Sunday morning service this morning. I am so glad to be here again with you. And um, we, we cannot but thank God for another day of life. We cannot but thank God for another opportunity to be here together again. And I want you to, wherever you are, bow your head and pray with me. Um, just just talk to God and say, Lord, thank you. Shanda Bokasa. Just thank the Lord for life. Thank the God for health. People have died. Thousands have died for every kind of sickness. I read right now in Nigeria, more have died from police shooting than from the virus. Look, this world is a funny place. Some are preparing to save themselves from the virus and they die from something else. But we are alive and we are here. And all we can do is just thank the Lord for his mercy and his goodness Shanda Boka Sunday. thank you lord for great grace that has covered us but as this far thank you the lord you have kept us from everything every evil every wickedness that has tried to possess our land we shall not go down we shall not be taken we shall not be covered we shall not be we shall not be uh, removed from our place our candle shall stand in his place in the name of jesus Kasunda. Reba Katiri and they, as you are praying, remember your loved ones. Remember your brother, your sister, your parents, your children, your friends. Remember them too. Some people, look, let me just pause here and make a comment. Some people, nobody prays for them. Believe you me, if you don't have a pastor, you're not active in your church, you're not known in your church, you are an anonymous person, who is praying for you? And so if you have a friend, listen, take your chance and let's pray you may never know this is a you may be the the cover of your friend rabondede kasanda kote yanda rebayandede rabonda 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 rabendende yanda da kiri yande my brother my sister rabonda da kikato yande my father my mother my son dedu makiri my husband my wife randero bokata yanda children my children rabondede lord cover them all with their blood with their blood Bible says we are saved with our households. We are saved with our households. Let the blood of Jesus reach out and touch many around us. Save them, oh God. Under the same banner that saves us, the same covering that we have, save those around us. Let us be saved from the enemy. Let none be taken. We shall, they said in numbers, we counted all and none was missing. Let none of our loved ones be taken. In the name of Jesus, a rabbi lady. Pray, just one minute. Pray wherever you are. Pray for your parents. Pray for your children. Pray for your brother and sister. Pray for your husband and wife. The Lord will touch them. If they are nearby and they are close by, don't be ashamed. Lay hands on them and pray. Shabba, if I were there, I would lay hands. Lay hands on them. Your husband, your brother, your sister, just close your eye and lay hands on them. Don't say anything. Shabbo katendede, rabendede, rebanda, kasanda, katiri, rabendede, hiriba kusaya, kasoya, kasoya, katanda, rabendede, hiandede, rabo kiriande, rebonda, rabiriande, rebayanda, rakiri bo katiriande, hiya, rabo kasindede, katoyandada, rebanda, kasiriande, hiandada, robondo do katia. Let power come from heaven and cover all around us in the name of jesus let their protection what is the use of protecting me and taking my children protecting me and taking my wife protecting me and taking my parents what is the use lord save us all lord save us all dry our eyes oh god deliver us from tears from sorrow from sadness and depression don't let anyone be taken in this uh, days of the pen, uh, um, epidemic don't let anyone be taken in the days of this virus roaming around keep us all rabonda rebayanda kasidi katendere ibo sanda shit your daddy iri abaka sanda kiri yandere rabanda hey rabondo katiri yande 
Rabande de kaso kabende katiri yande rabayanda ribanda da katiri yande pray that your best days are coming i i know it's a funny prayer to pray but pray that your best days are starting yes these are dark days i tell you but your best days are coming your best days are coming your best days are coming begin to say with me my best days are coming my best days are coming my best days are coming look it's not what you see with your eye we walk by faith not by sight not what you see that there's no food in my house there's no money in my account and so i can't say these things nonsense you can say it you can say it look at me look it is not what you see things that are made are made from things that are not so what is not is more real than what you see with your eye and i tell you don't believe the the mistakes you are seeing with your eye your eye cannot see far you can't see molecules you can't see gases you can't see infrared you can't see uv light you can't see many things even a pin or, or a dust on the table you can't see it you say you have eyes no 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 let's use our spiritual eyes our spiritual eyes we walk by faith our eyes are faith things are getting better things are getting better all things work together for our good oh yes if 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 god god uh, with god we are more than conquerors rabandedi rabba kasandada robo yondoro katiri yandedi rabi yando rabandada ketayanda riso bashitaya hiri yandede kasanda katendedi rabendede kasiri robo rabanda it's gonna get better i'm convinced it's gonna get better it's going to get better it's going to get better it's going to get better you just watch me and see I said, me and you, our testimony will be at the end of these days, we'll be jubilating, we'll be celebrating, we'll be shouting, a shout of joy will erupt from our house. Rabondodo, be a man of faith and believe with me, believe with me that it is going to be a good thing, a good testimony that we'll have. Rabanda Kasiriande, Rebo Kasanda Katia, Eyando Bakiriande. Rabanda da kasende de koto yanda, ribiri yande, ribiri yande, rabo kusonda katiri yande, rabanda da, haba kasanda da biri yande de kato, eba yanda kasende de. And finally, pray that today will be a good day. Today will be the day you hear a word from God. Touch your ear, Lord. Open my ear. Shanta da bara. Touch your eye, Lord. Open my eye. Shaba katiri nde. Touch your heart, Lord. Soften my heart. Shabo dodo. Let today be a day that God is gonna reach you with a word, a word that He has prepared, a special word prepared for you to make you one of His very own children. A man's children are the ones He talks to. Rabandede kaso kataya. Rebondo do rabandede kasiri. Iandede rabondo. Hey, Araba, 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 Rebanda da Biriande. Let's pray for our daddy, the evangelist, the prophet. Let's pray for all the bishops. Let's pray for all the bishops in Anakazo Assembly. It's a beautiful denomination. Uh, pray for our chairman, Bishop Interfold. Let's pray that as we are all gathered as one family, one denomination, that God is going to bless us all, every brother in anakazo assembly will flourish every brother every sister in this denomination will all do well watch every single one of us rabo sitida katoyanda rebo yanda kiri bo sankateya iyeya 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 yendada rebo yanda kasindiri hiriba kotayanda rabendiri ribanda da katiri endiri let us all do well let us all flourish let us all prosper let us all excel at the things you said before us. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very, very much. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, thank you for bringing us this far. I'm so glad that we are here. We are able to, even even it's a short time of prayer. You see, it, it is short because I'm expecting you to pray more in your homes. I'm expecting you to not to use um, the little time we have on air but you to pray much much more on your own at home and then you'll see what god will do to answer your questions thank you i want us to receive a ministration 
from our sister Priscilla. God bless you. Put your hands together and welcome her. we have a brother in church who sent his testimony a very powerful testimony he said that last week Thursday all I had in my mobile money account was only 20 CDs and I needed money to buy some items so I went to the vendor to withdraw my last 20 CDs from him when I got to the vendor he told me that I had 229 CDs in my mobile money account wow i couldn't believe it i traced to find out if someone had mistakenly sent me the money but still couldn't find the owner i asked my friends but nobody seemed to have sent me this money so i am thanking god for providing for me when i had nothing such a powerful testimony from 20 CDs to 229 CDs, God is still doing miracles. And this morning, I am so blessed and so happy 
that we are about to hear a word that will bless us and increase our faith. Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I want us to welcome and invite our father and our pastor, Bishop Patrick Bruce, to bring us the word. Hallelujah. Once again, it is very good for us to be together on a Sunday like this. Um, it's, it's still very strange and needs getting used to. Uh, this our True Vine Studio number three. But, well, with time, we, we, we will get used to new things. And I believe that God is going to help us. But it's time for us to share a word. And I want you to, wherever you are, to bow your heads and um, let us share a word of prayer. Father, thank you so very, very much that whenever, wherever we are, you are there with us. But you are spirit. You are free. Nothing can hold you or tie you down. And this, after this morning, I pray, Lord, that your word will go free 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 out of this place into the whole world your world your word will not be limited or restricted by any any limitation imposed by a man but your word will have power to change souls and make them become what you want them to be thank you so very very much in jesus name amen well um I'm, I'm so glad to share with you something this morning from one of the books of our prophets and these books this book is named after some words spoken by the great missionary William Curry and it is attempt great things for God attempt great things for God it is a very great you know in these days of lockdown and ban on gathering I hope you are reading books you never read before. I hope you take all the slow time, the quiet times, the times when all your friends have scattered and you are alone to do some reading. Many of us don't have a reading habit. And that is why when we are trying to give you books at 10 cities, 15 cities, you grumble and you complain because you don't have a reading culture. May God uh, implant in you a reading habit in the name of Jesus. May somebody begin, begin to become a reader out of sheer boredom, out of nothing to do. But may you read because in, in books is life. And um, I'm sharing from this book, Attempt Great Things for God, where William Curry, the great missionary to India, spoke these famous words to attempt great things for God this this morning um, I'm speaking from chapter 18 which says attempt reaping the harvest attempt reaping the harvest um, one of the good things about these days where we find ourselves is that everything is new we have never been in a time like this where a whole country is shut down we have i mean i'm sure if last year somebody had even described this you would you would not believe it if i had watched a film i heard there's a film like this contagion or something if somebody had watched this film and said this thing is gonna happen soon we'd laugh at him and if he said let's bet we we'll all bet our last money and lose it because it is almost inconceivable what we are going through and um, we are we are <clears throat> we are seeing things we have never seen before well the good side is also that you can do things you have never done before here i am my my uh, true vine studio number three i mean imagine true vine cathedral we have three studios now and it's fantastic we recorded all our studios and then we present it to you. I would never have thought that I could be uh, sending this broadcast from my home. I would never have thought that I would be alone trying to put together camera, mixer, everything to, to upload. Normally, I sit down, I just stand and somebody records. Now here I am, I'm, I'm, I'm involved myself. We are all learning things we have never done before. That is the, the good, the flip side, the good side about these days. So I like this book. That, that is why, maybe that is why this book uh, attracts me. It says, attempt 
in these unusual days um you must attempt something try something yes you have not done it before yes me too but we are attempting and i i think i'm enjoying the studio in my house i think i'm enjoying it very very much so as you attempt things you begin to enjoy some of them i mean some people will even regret when the ban is lifted because their glory and their power is gone so um we are we are attempting things and as we attempt them you will you may find something that you really like and and you enjoy it and even continue after the ban is lifted <clears throat> attempt reaping the harvest luke chapter 10 <clears throat> after these things the lord appointed seven other 70 also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come therefore said he unto them the harvest truly is great but the laborers are few pray ye therefore the lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest um, the harvest is great it, it's true the harvest is truly great i mean this world i believe we are now nine billion citizens in the world um nine billion that's that's a lot of people and what is even more distressing is the fact that many many thousands are dying every day i i mean when i i read the news when i see the news when I hear the figures of, of 700 a day in one country times all the countries of the world, uh, um, 900 a day, 1,000 a day, a day, just dying. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's really, it's really um, disturbing. What comes to me is, where are they going? all the you know i can imagine i can imagine somebody who can see in the spirit realm you can look at the earth from outside the realm then you see souls rising and going up souls souls shooting up from everywhere souls 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 some going up some going down some going up some going down thousands and thousands of souls on the move every single day and the question is where are they going I, I find it very disturbing and um some some are also saying that it is just the old people who would have died anyway i mean they are they are my mom passed some years ago she didn't pass from COVID, um, coronavirus no 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 she didn't pass but she did so some are saying that the old will pass all the same so it's not a major 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 um it is it is and and not only that but the young are also passing young young ones are also passing the nurses uh, uh, young doctors um the, the most sad was the recent uh, young nurse in, in the uk who passed uh, 28 years at the peak of life about to bring forth life herself and suddenly her life is cut short and 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 though the baby is safe she is lost and it's, it's so it's so distressing where are they going and that is why the harvest is 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 um, very important that we never lose sight of it there, there's a great harvest there's a great work to be done the harvest is truly great and this morning i want to invite you to join me to do a great work exactly that I'm inviting you to join me to do a great work. Um, many, many people um, want to be great. If I offer you a Mercedes Benz and a, and, a, and, a, and a Pragia, which one would you take? You won't even think. You take the Mercedes Benz. If I offer you a BMW and a, and a Hyundai, which one would you take? You will not think. You take the BMW because we, we like the great things. Um, this morning I'm offering you a great thing I remember the story um, first Kings chapter something chapter 5 
when Naaman the leper went to the king and the king sent him to the prophet and he came to the prophet's house and when he came to the prophet's house the prophet didn't even come out he just asked him to go and bath seven times in the river and 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 the um, Naaman was was very was very wroth he was very angry and his bible says he turned let, let, let's look at it second kings chapter 5 bible says and Naaman was wroth very angry and he went away behold i thought he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the lord his god and strike his hand over the place and recover the leprosy and do something dramatic he said i thought he would do something dramatic but to go and bath in the in the in the river ah how something as easy as this you know any any bible says and he went away in a rage and his servants came near and said unto him my father if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing would thou not have done it if the prophet had asked you to do something great wouldn't you have done it so my message this morning is if you have been given something great to do most of us would grab it it is just that you can't recognize that what i'm offering you today is a great thing and that is why uh, a Naaman also almost walked away because he thought it was nothing it was just bathing in the river is nothing but it's a great thing he didn't realize it and that's how come this morning i am offering you a chance to be a partaker in a great thing the great harvest the harvest uh, john luke chapter 10 um, verse 2 the harvest truly is great so let us really get ourselves involved in the great harvest this is what uh, um, bishop says in the book jesus spoke of the great harvest of souls that awaits believers today he said the harvest is truly great there are over seven and a half billion souls in the world today seven and a half billion souls you know i was thinking if everybody gave me only one dollar oh just every just one dollar i'll be so happy okay even 50 cents everybody in the world gave me 50 cents but let, let's go on the world has over seven and a half billion souls in the world today the harvest truly is great and and that's what i said people are dying every day thousands are dying every day where are they going that is the harvest we must reap this great harvest we must attempt great things for god so my question to you this morning is this do you want to attempt great things for god do you want to get involved in the great harvest that stands before us and then listen every nation in the world deserves the visit of an evangelist true but in these days is not likely to happen every nation in the world deserves a crusade true but also in these days it's not likely to happen but look at this one every community in this world deserves someone who goes house to house and door to door winning the lost that's right every community every area deserves someone who goes house to house and door to door winning the lost will you be that person today churches have been locked down and shut down and tied down and we cannot do very very much and that is why i must count on you to to help to ha harvest uh, reap the great harvest amen um attempt reaping the great harvest 
Number one, attempt having crusades. Attempt, that means attempt to save someone. Attempt to save someone. Acts chapter 8 and verse 4. Therefore, they that were scattered went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. When they were scattered, we as at now, we have been scattered in a kind of way. We have been scattered to our individual homes. Though we are not being persecuted, we have been scattered and been locked up in our homes. And Philip also was scattered as we were many, many years ago. And he went somewhere and he preached Christ unto them. May you go somewhere and preach Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. And wherever you are scattered to, wherever you are locked down in, may you preach Christ there in the name of Jesus. Amen. And, and you see, people will say that, I don't know how to preach Christ. I don't know what to do. I'm, I, I'm, this is not, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a, a, a shepherd. I'm not even an usher or a chorister. I'm an ordinary church member. What, what am I supposed to do? Listen, I can tell you something. Philip was probably a scared church member, a man fleeing persecution. I tell you, he was probably shaking and, and shivering. And every time he hears a sound, he will look behind him to see who's coming, who's coming. Because they were being persecuted. And even he, under persecution, went somewhere and, and, and tried to preach Christ. And he, he, he tried preaching Christ unto them. You can do it. Amen. I said, you can do it. Just yesterday, as I was preparing, the Lord showed me something. He said, go back to Acts chapter 2. And I, and I went there and he said, what do you read? And I said, the day of Pentecost had fully come. They were all in one accord in one place. And then the Holy Spirit came. Yeah. Then he said, what happened then? And then Peter stood up and began to explain things. Then he said, yes. Then the Holy Spirit asked me, Peter, where had he preached before? Where had he ever stood to explain Christ, explain salvation, share anything before? It was just now the first time he was standing. Peter was a novice. He was a novice who had just uh, 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 stood up and was now preaching everywhere. Look, you too, even though you may think you are a novice, you can preach. He had Peter, Peter had not preached. He had been following Jesus, had seen Jesus preaching, and had joined himself to the group of people for three years. I've seen Jesus preaching. Some of you, you've been in church, you've seen us preaching, you've seen preaching on the radio, preaching on the TV, preaching everywhere. You can try it. You can try it. Attempt to save somebody. All you have to do is decide. I will be a soul winner. Amen. I will be a soul winner. Philip went down and preached. You too. Preach. Try. I want somebody this morning to just close your eye and in fear and in trembling. And, and I, you see, I, I know I'm touching, I'm talking to somebody, some people. And I know that some of you, many of you that I'm speaking to, there's fear and trembling in your heart. But all the same, decide that I will make myself a soul winner. There's fear and trembling in me, but I will make myself a soul winner. And there's somebody right now, your heart is beating. You are saying, hey, this thing, can I do it? And my word to you is, yes, you can. Number two, attempt having international crusades yeah you heard me um in our context attempt something outside your house second corinthians chapter 10 and verse 16 to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you to preach the gospels in the region beyond you meaning that you are going to a place where you do not normally go tonight eh, this morning what i'll tell you is go to your gate and stand at your gate yes 
stand at, your, at the gate of your house or just stand at the wall of your house amazingly there are still people walking up and down the streets amazing i mean in in the lockdown era still you find people walking up and down they're going to buy uh, medicine they're going to buy water they're going to buy oil they're going to buy something so still there's still people passing by for one of them today is the day of that person's salvation i want you to go to the your wall or your gate just stand at the gate and perch on the wall many of us we are we have been perching on the walls before perch on the wall just put your hand on the wall and perch and just be looking somebody will pass when that person passes today is that person's day remember in john chapter 4 the woman who went to the well she woke up in the morning took her water pot and she was going to fetch water it was an ordinary normal start to the day but along the way she met jesus at the well and she made one critical move she stopped to talk to jesus she stopped to talk to jesus that stopping to talk to jesus was her salvation that taking two minutes to talk to a man sitting at the well just relaxing asking for water that little detour that she made was was her salvation that today was her day and that little detour was her salvation she was going about her business but she just paused to uh, to be polite I, I would say she didn't even, she wasn't even trying hard just being polite just being polite to a man who stopped to ask for water i mean how wicked are you when a man you are you are carrying water and a man asks you for a glass of water you won't give him ah how wicked are you? you i don't see anybody behaving like that so she too i mean in, in her simplicity i'm not looking for anything i have a man at home already i don't like this man i have i'm okay and you want water okay let me give him water that little agreeing to be polite to listen to a stranger was her salvation because jesus spoke to her that day and 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 by prophetic uh, uh, revelation entered her life and, and and spoke to her and she became totally born again amen today also is your day to enter into somebody's life how how do i know you see listen you just stand at your wall or at your gates and let people pass and just ask them excuse me uh, and then anybody pass and say oh brah chief boss director manager nana or any anybody passing just stop person and then say um, but your mommy, one minute why any you see some people there eh, when you call them they will not come they will not come no problem let them go but there are some others when you say bra uh, 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 chief nana boss manager director lawyer chief justice when you call them one of them will come listen anybody who comes when you stand by your gate and call him is a sign is a sign that today is the person's day anybody who comes those who don't come and who keep walking or who look at you and say hey social distance and they walk away no 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 don't mind them today is not their day oh they can go don't mind them at all and you can't win everybody no 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 they are not on your agenda it is the one who will answer your call that says yes i will pay attention to what you are saying that is the one you must listen to L listen to this story um this story in the bible it is a beautiful story but it illustrates our our point very very clearly first samuel first samuel chapter 14 chapter 14 it illustrates our story very very clearly and um chapter 4 yes verse 6 jonathan and and his young man when there was war with the philistines verse 6 and jonathan said to the young man that bear his armor come 
and let us go over unto the garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that the Lord will work for us, for there is no restraint to the Lord to save by many or by few. This is where that famous scripture comes from. The Lord can save by many or by few. Then, then said Jonathan, Behold, we will pass over unto these men, and we will show ourselves unto them. Listen, if they say unto us, Tarry there until we come to you, then we will stand still in our place and will not go up to them. But if they say unto us, Come up unto us, then we will go up. For the Lord has delivered them into our hand, and this shall be a sign unto us. Some things are signs. Some things are signs. And so when a man stops, when you call him, it is a clear sign that God has determined to save that man. It is a clear sign that God has determined to try to reach that man. So this this uh, morning, or, or just go to your wall and hang on your wall, or go to your gate, or stand by your hedge, and anybody passing, bra, boss, director, manager, chief justice, uh, 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 lawyer, uh, 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 hey, nana, hey, try all the titles. One will work, and the person will stop and come. That will be a sign for you that he is today is the person's day. So try it it is your crusade to save somebody today point three for this morning attempt having 1000 crusades hey attempt having what am i mad 1000 crusades no 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 take your time take your time john 15 and verse 8 herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruits that's all to bear much fruits so what am i saying after standing at your gate and calling somebody director manager boss lawyer chief justice officer uh, uh, what uh, doctor try all the titles what will work when you call that person and he comes um in case in case he comes and you talk to him and it doesn't work no problem try again i mean those who don't stop they should go they should take their trouble go. after all god may be delivering you from wicked and unreasonable men so anybody you stop it doesn't go say in your head ah you wicked man anybody you stop it doesn't go in your head unreasonable man god has delivered me this man is coming to beat me or quarrel with me but if you call somebody and he doesn't reply or it doesn't lead to a, conver a, con a conversion no problem try again try again try again try again that is our thousand crusades try again try and try and try again if the first one doesn't work no problem few things work the first time you try it many things you must try it over and over and over again I mean, many people write exams twice. You, you yourself, haven't you ever written any exam twice? You see, you're laughing. You see, you're laughing. You have written some of you, even even uh, B C Kra, you wrote it twice. B C, you wrote twice. Wasi, you wrote twice. And then your other exams, too, you wrote twice. And so, doing something twice is not a problem. It's actually a part of life. So, try again. Amen. I said try again. Second Kings. Second Kings chapter 13. Now Elisha was falling sick of a sickness whereof he would die. Verse 14. And Joash the king of Israel came down unto him and wept over his face and said, Oh my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. Now, those were the same words which he gave Elisha the anointing. When he saw Elijah being taken up, then he cried, Oh, my father, my father, the, the chariots of, of Israel and the horsemen thereof. 
then he said take your bow and shoot the arrow then he shot the arrow say oh the arrow of the lord's deliverance you will be delivered in the name of jesus you will have your victory in the name of jesus you will see before these days are over you'll be celebrating you'll be laughing and you'll be jubilating a victory will be handed over to you in the name of jesus amen then he said verse 18 take the arrows and he took them and he said unto the king of israel smite upon the ground and he smote thrice pine 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 and stayed now look at this and the man of god was wroth with him was angry look a sick man an old sick man lying on his bed sick and and about to die but something happened to make him angry listen to this watch read carefully what is happening if you go back elisha was sick was falling sick of the sickness whereof he would die and this sick man lying in bed became angry angry at what angry because thou should have smitten five or six times then hadest thou smashed syria till thou had consumed it but now you smite syria only three times he said you should have done more look you can do something a few times and you will have some results but when you press on and on and on you break through and suddenly you find yourself even enjoying the thing having more results you will break through to a level where suddenly it is now easy to win souls you tried once twice thrice then you stopped the prophet will be angry at you only three times you tried once the man snubbed you you tried twice the man insulted you tried the third time and he walked away so you have stopped and this thing is not working or media it doesn't work for me those who know how to do it they should do it we dear we are just the members who uh eh. so you have stopped after three times no the prophet was angry that you had smitten only thrice thou should have smitten five or six times this this i think this is a prophetic prophetic figure for us listen don't stop don't stop what you are doing until you have tried five or six times standing at your gate calling people and stopping them if after five or six times nobody nobody has responded call me and then say pastor i resign then i'll say okay i accept after five or six times in fact let's make it easy six times because it says five or six so i choose the six after six times if you stand at your gate six times and you try and you try and you try and nobody gets born again call me send me a whatsapp or a text and then we'll discuss it then i'll give you a letter resignation accepted but until then no until then the prophet was angry only three attempts no 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 try it we are aiming for 1000 crusades listen we are going to win souls stand at your gate lean on the wall any man passing try it repeatedly you will save a soul and finally attempt crusades in the islands in the islands going to the uttermost parts of the world listen but ye shall receive power after the holy ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem in all judea and in samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth listen this lockdown in four in two or three or four weeks this lockdown will end and we shall be free to move around in two or three months this ban on gathering will be lifted then we shall be together again and so a day will come when we will no longer be restricted to five or ten no gatherings 
uh, permitted that day will pass on that day join those who are going to become wild soul winners on that day join us as we go to town with power. look there will be some wild evangelists there when this thing is lifted i promise you the city will step but uh, they will know that churches be are back we are back power we have been quiet for all this time and we have kept quiet the church that was singing down here that church is quiet now no problem we, we take it like that when this thing is little we are back and we are going to come back with strength and reach and preach everywhere we are really going to win souls i tell you when this thing is lifted um attempt crusades in the islands islands are difficult places to reach to either you go by air or you swim i know many of us here um we, we know ourselves we can't swim so we just take it like that and we can't walk there's no path no bush path so we have to fly and we can't fly too so islands are difficult places to get to and that is why attempting crusades in the islands implies going to far places and we'll go again and we will go we will go as and i mean for now we cannot go for now we are trapped in our homes and so your gate your fence wall your hedge is as far as you can go please do not waste this opportunity go to them and when the time comes to go far out we will go what is the purpose of your life what are you going to do ecclesiastics you see people are dying every day whenever i see large numbers of people dying i take that opportunity to consider my own life and to see what it means for me then this scripture called me ecclesiastics chapter 5 verse 15 as he came forth of his mother's womb naked shall he return to go as he came and shall take nothing of his labor which he may carry away in his hand this is also a sore evil that in all points as he came so shall he go and what profit then has a man that in all that he has labored to the wind nothing that we can carry in our hand is going with us everything is staying behind even the clothes will rot in the coffin with you nothing is going with you nothing it is it is it is so sad that you you look at all our property and then imagine after i'm gone hold it before hold it before that is how you should think when i'm passing when i'm gone who will drive this car who will sit at this table who will watch this tv when you think like that you buy the things appropriately then you find that there's no point in doing many of these things but listen revelation chapter 14 and verse 13 and i heard a loud voice from heaven saying unto me right blessed are the dead which die in the lord from henceforth why yea said the spirits that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them every single soul that you have won will follow you in the name of jesus every single person you have stopped to talk to at the junction at the roadside at the bus stop every single person you have ever spoken to who becomes born again that soul will follow you on your journey to heaven in the name of jesus and whoever goes first when we meet up there they will come and rejoin the line following you these are the souls that you have taken captive with you to heaven may you be a soul winner may you be somebody who is concerned about the health of others as i see these numbers of people dying thousands are dying every day it grieves my heart it disturbs me and i think of many many families destroyed wives husbands taken sometimes even children uh, pregnant mothers oh so sad 
but even sadder where are they going may they go to a great reward in the name of jesus when they are going to a better place we are sad but not so sad when they are going from ghana to america we are sad but inwardly we are happy because our children will do well they are going to a better place that is why many immigrants even let their kids go alone across the border they, they, are, they want their kids to have a better place even willing to sacrifice them their own self to let the child have a future going to heaven Philippians says to live is Christ and to die is gain it is dying in Christ is far 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 better than living in this world and this morning you want to be a, a, a contributor an active worker in making others soul winners you want to be a man who has put his hand to the work that others should not die and perish but they should die and go to heaven and i want to pray for everyone that i determine myself to be a soul winner i determine to talk to people on the wall on my premises my neighbors shanda bokasaya i pray against all fear I pray against timidity i pray against uncertainty shanda Daba. all the spirits that will hold you captive and make you feel insecure inferior as a grasshopper i bind all those spirits out of your heart in the name of jesus all the spirits that make you see yourself as inferior and make you see somebody as superior I remove that spirit out of your mind in the name of Jesus. Everyone who would receive fear, that spirit of fear is bound and cast out. Boldness take its place. Boldness. Bible says they're righteous, they are as bold as a lion. Boldness take the place of that fear in the name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that a certain spirit, a can do spirit. I can do spirit i can do this thing david said i can fight this giants i can do this thing may that can do spirit enter you that i will be able to take this land when the the, the 12 spies came back 10 said we cannot do this thing it's too dangerous there are giants there are high walls there are so many things but two said we can do this thing we can do this thing listen join those two join me join all the many others who are working we can do this thing we can save a few souls while we are on lockdown we can talk to people as they pass we can talk to the man coming to collect the baller the man passing on the street to read the meter we can talk to somebody we can do something and do not allow ourselves father grant us strength shabo ketaya grant us strength oh god take give us boldness give us boldness take away all the fear insecurity and uncertainty and leave oh lord leave an army of workers who are going to make a difference thank you so very very much for every new soldier newly recruited to the field of the lord of the work of the lord that new soldier is going to work for us and this morning maybe you are watching maybe you're not born again maybe you don't know what it means to go to heaven I want to pray for you right now you want to go to heaven but you're not sure um, you want to know Jesus but you don't know whether he knows you and you know deep in your heart that you don't know him this this morning put your hand over your heart and and say Lord Jesus um, I come to you just as I am Lord Jesus forgive me my sins they are very many forgive me all the bad things I have done wash them away with the blood that you shed at Calvary change this heart oh God give me a new heart one that will love you and serve you and follow you all my days prepare a place for me in heaven by your side and write my name in the book of life 
Lord Jesus, today I am born again. And Jesus is my Lord, my Master, my Savior, and my best friend. Satan, I will never follow you again. I have stopped your, I have left your company. I now belong to Jesus and he I will serve all my days. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, thank you for everyone who prayed this prayer this morning. Thank you for everyone who felt you, your call, who heard your call, felt your touch on their hearts and answered yes. I pray, Lord, that there'll be a lasting change in their lives, in their hearts, in the name of Jesus. They will never be the same again. Never, never, never. They will never go astray, never backslide, and never lose that which you give them. Thank you, thank you, thank you for a great salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I would have said, put your hands together. It doesn't matter if you're alone. Put your hands together and thank God for a wonderful message that is guiding you to attempt to harvest, to reap the great harvest. Number one, be a soul winner. Have that mind. Number two, go to your gate, go to your wall, go to your fence and stand there and anybody passing. Remember 2 Samuel, uh, I think 13. Anybody who stops is a sign. It's a sign that that person has been sent to you and don't go once don't go twice don't go three times don't go four times don't go five times go six times the prophet said five or six we are saying take the upper limit six times and try it time and time again you look you will come back rejoicing with great harvest of souls because the harvest is great and there are very very many people to be saved hallelujah we thank the lord for this day we are in difficult times and that is why we're gonna have our communion right right now communion is a supernatural event it's not just bread and wine it is to tap into the supernatural listen in these dark days we need miracles we need miracles look sometimes when you are walking with uh, uh, money in your pocket the sun is shining everything is okay you don't need a miracle you're okay God is just happy. You're also happy. We are all going. <laughs> we are walking in life. I mean, everything is good. Then it starts raining, thunder, arm robbers, thieves, a flood, lightning, fire. That is when you need a miracle. So right now, under these times, this is now the time we need a miracle. And we need to go into supernatural things. And the communion is a reminder that you are not an ordinary man. You are not a mere man, but you are a man who has connections in the spiritual realm. Maybe you didn't know, but I'm telling you, we have connections and, 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 and link, links into the spirit realm. And this is our link to the spirit realm. Hallelujah. This is our link. This is what we have to take us into the spirit realm first corinthians chapter 11 let us pray father we bless these tokens of bread and wine as a reminder of the body and blood of jesus that was broken and shed for us sanctify them and hallow them for our use today in jesus name amen amen bible says for i received of the lord that which also i delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. Listen, I haven't given you time to go and find your communion elements. Um, run. Take, take whatever you can find right now. Take whatever you can find. Uh, sometimes we, have, we forget ourselves. Bread, biscuits, uh, anything at all just break a small piece no no matter how big quickly quickly look around your house and grab something it is very important for us to enter into the spiritual realm for our own salvation 
in our own deliverance. I'm going to give you one more minute to get. I forgot that you now have to gather yourself. I was ready. Get it right now and join me in this. So we need the help of God right now. A lot of people are struggling. Um, don't have money. Don't have food. Just today, I got a message of a young man who went to trying to buy some food and he met security men who uh, punished him and sent him home again. And, he, and it's, it's sad. It's sad. Yes. But listen, there are even those who don't have food at all in their homes. It's even, even more sad. Look, the, the help that you receive from men is limited. I tell you something. It's limited. Men's help is men can only carry you so far it is god who can carry you all the way recently somebody told me that he has stopped paying his tithe because he needs the money i said brother you are making a mistake your tithe is only 13 cities it will only last uh, uh, one or two days after the tithe has finished how can you go to god and ask him for something after you have stopped his money what kind of best christian are you you are a shameless Christian to go to God and ask for help when you have chopped his money. And if you don't ask for help, the 30 cities, it will finish in two days. What next? I said it is far better, far better to pay the tithe to the Lord and depend on God. David said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord my help cometh from the lord my hope is in lord i don't i'm not counting on anybody i'm not counting on anybody me i'm believing god that is why i'm believing in the communion as a solution to many problems health problems spiritual problems enemy problems many things are solved by the communion and you see that look it is far better to believe in god believe in god and and and, and see the salvation of his hand the communion okay when he had given thanks take it with me hold it up he break it and said take it this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me wherever you are this morning your token be it biscuit bread a small piece of cake whatever it is I don't know what you are carrying both fruits a uh, small piece of kinky uh, rice ball anything that you can hold in your hand and break Lord may that symbolize the body of Jesus Christ broken for us by that body being broken may your body remain intact in the name of Jesus may no virus enter your body in the name of Jesus we claim supernatural protection and covering we claim abnormal help from above we claim supernatural defenses around our house. Any, any career, may he miss our path in the name of Jesus. May he miss your trotro in the name of Jesus. May he miss your cue in the name of Jesus. Any person carrying the virus, may he miss his way in the night coming to meet you on the road in the name of Jesus. May you receive supernatural protection from your physical body in Jesus' name. Amen. The body of Jesus broken for us, eat it by faith in Jesus' name. the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament the new covenant the new promise a new agreement and every agreement is better i mean if you have an old car and say oh let's change will you take an older car oh you have an old phone i said bring your phone let's change when i give you an older phone so every agreement every everything that is changed the new one is better than the old one this cup is the new testament in my blood this do as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me 
a new promise. The life you had is getting better in the name of Jesus. Whatever you had as prosperity is getting better in the name of Jesus. Whatever education you had is getting better under this new covenant in the name of Jesus. Whatever health you had under this covenant is getting better in the name of Jesus. Whatever security you had, savings, wall, whatever it is, by this token, by the spiritual help of God, you are made safer than ever in the name of Jesus. Whatever pertains to your life is improved and increased and embedded by the new covenant we have. Receive this new covenant. Receive everything improved. Your children, your marriage, your family, your business, your education, your, your, your social standing, whatever you have is improved. Receive it by grace in Jesus' name. Amen. The blood of Jesus shed for us. Drink it by faith in Jesus' name. Father, thank you so much for the body and the blood of Jesus that was shed for us and broken for us. We receive strength, health, wealth, prosperity, wisdom, might, power, peace, love, gentleness. We receive everything into our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you so very, very much for this great sacrifice that saved us. We are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we leave this place, we have to do one last thing. And sometimes the last things are very, very important. And I want you to take out an offering this morning. And an offering to honor and, and um, worship the Lord. Um, I want to say that many of my pastors have had calls from their church members asking for help uh, they need they don't have food they don't have anything asking for help and, and you see I'm, I'm amazed at those who think that because there's no church meeting so we don't give offering again if there was no offering again how could any help be made available for those who are asking now and those of you who are asking now where where do you think the money is going to come from because the church has no business we have no income we have no profits we don't do anything that earns money all we have is you and god our helper so it is the members it is you our members your tithes and your offering that provides meat in the house and that meat is what gives us the priest the power to stand to minister to pay for this to go on air don't think that it's free oh everything costs money cameras uh, lights everything costs money look in this world nothing is free free salvation is not free jesus paid jesus paid and so this morning i want you to take out a very good offering and you see sometimes you think that oh nobody can see me i'm alone in my house normally you know when i'm in the church i have to go into my pocket and take the money and squeeze it in my hand and hide it here and wait till the basket is very very close then do some fast one and hide it here so that nobody can see what i give and now that i'm at home now that i'm free i'm at home i can do what i like nobody can see me again i'm free i'm free 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 i can choose to give hey look bible says uh, hebrews chapter 4 all things are naked and bare before him with whom we have to deal i am not the one you are dealing with i am also a steward a messenger sent to you it is god you are dealing with and god his eyes are roaming throughout the whole world don't see that i'm free i can do what i like no it is god is still seeing you and that is why i'm telling you you are not honoring anybody but god this offering this giving is between you and your god and i want you to do the best you have to honor your god right where you are and as you honor him he will come and save you he will come and deliver you he will come and help you in your moment of need he said try me and see if i won't open the windows of heaven and pour you a blessing that will you will not have room enough 
to receive it ask your neighbor this scripture where is it if he doesn't know give me a knock for me if you are a ud member and aa an akazo member and you don't know this scripture give me a knock on the head for me and say hey you i report you to the bishop next time church starts you should know this scripture um malachi chapter 3 it is the key to your blessing the tithe yes i'll not hide it from you i'll not hide it from you i know sometimes you don't have money but it is a temptation to not give it is it is a test of your spirituality it is to see whether you really believe or not those of you who when you don't have you don't give it puts a question mark on your faith do you really believe if you only believe in good times then your faith is suspect if you only believe in happy times then we are not sure you are a real believer because it is the testing of your faith that brings patience and patience must have its full effect then we can see what you really are and so if you are just giving when things are ready no 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 it is now it is now that we must give and we are given not because we have excess or we have too much but because we love the lord take out your phone and send an offering this morning send a tithe if you don't have either you are able to gather it among yourselves and give it to somebody to send you can even do that also um but take out an offering right now and let me pray take out an offering the numbers are there the phone numbers the, the tigo vodafone mtn they're all there they receive it by on your phone it'll come to you and it's also there take it out right now Ramanda. god will bless you god will keep you god will bless you god will keep you god will cover you the widow thought she was going to die she said i have just a little flour a little oil i'll make some bread for me and my child then we eat then we die because it's a famine there's no food anywhere else there's no hope the man of god said make some for me first make some for me first and she did and bible says the cruise of oil and the flour did not fail till the end of the uh, famine no man came to help her but god and this morning i'm praying that same miracle should enter your house god will sustain you god will sustain you believe you me believe you me god will sustain you he will keep you by a miracle in the name of jesus father thank you so very 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 much for 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 the um this help this this reassurance that you are with us thank you that lord because you are with us we are okay bless and keep all of us in jesus name amen thank you for obeying god thank you for doing the right thing and um, do me a favor when your testimony comes, send it to me i'm waiting i'm expecting many testimonies i've had just a few um i've had just one or two let me read one that i i had i have for you um where is it where is it i just got one yes here it is um it's from a brother he called me to find out if god really gives miracle money he said last week thursday all he had on his mobile money was 20 cities and he needed money to buy some items so he went to the vendor to withdraw his last 20 cities for him when he got to the vendor he told him that he had 229 cities on his mobile money and he was he was and he has tried to find out if somebody mistakenly sent him money no and he can't find out from his he can't find the owner and he has asked his friends and no one has sent him any money so he's thanking god for providing for him when he had nothing it's beautiful god is going to surprise you and show you that he is a provider believe him and receive everything in jesus name amen oh that was a powerful word of god thank you so much bishop patrick for sharing with us and for preaching to us we are so encouraged 
and we are so blessed. Well, we've come to the end of our service, but before we leave, we want to take the following announcements. On Tuesday and Friday at 4 a.m., our floor prayer meeting comes on with our prophet, Bishop Dyke Ward Mills. You don't want to miss it. Set your alarms, wake somebody up, and let's all pray together. And our casual time is on Thursday at 4 a.m. with Bishop in Tefl, live on Facebook, and our casual assemblies HQ. Let's all come together and pray online. On Tuesday at 7 p.m., we have our Tuesday online service with Bishop Patrick Bruce. These are great times of teaching where he takes us into the Word of God and into the books written by our father, Bishop Doug Ewan Mills. You want to be there. On Friday, we have our time of prayer with Bishop Patrick where he not only leads us to pray, but teaches us how to pray. You don't want to miss that too. Come next week, Sunday is our Ben MP Sunday. Yes, Ben MP means beautiful, exciting, nice, and mood changing partners. And these are people who support the Healing Jesus campaigns that our Father does. With as little as 10 CDs, you can't become a partner. This is also to encourage all those who are partners to keep sending your contributions, even in this time. We will display shortly our mobile money numbers for you to send your contributions to support the Healing Jesus campaigns. And on this day, next week, Sunday, we will be coming together to strongly support our Father with our money. God bless you so much, and we'll meet here again next week, Sunday. Stay blessed.